Ahoy, this is Denka. Filmic Pro is one of the most popular apps when it comes to smartphone filmmaking. Until now, we were able to enjoy it with one-time purchase. Well, things have changed. Their official statement on their Facebook account states that Filmic Pro was sold to another company and is moving forward with a subscription plan. If you purchased Filmic Pro in the past, you can enjoy the current version. If you want to move to version 7, you will need to join subscription plan. And as expected, the response is rather negative because of their proposed subscription plan and pricing. Let's take a look at some other smartphone filmmaking apps which are similar to Filmic Pro and are currently available on Apple and Android devices. Personally, I'm looking for an app which is quite simple to use, but I can do a whole bunch of manual controls and has further stabilization so I can film handheld. I'm also looking for an app where I can use a gimbal. So I would like to know which apps are compatible with gimbals, if there are any. I'm going to start with ProTake, which is available on both Apple and Android smartphones. I already showcased that app on this channel back in 2020. I'll link it below. It is quite similar to Filmic Pro. However, I find the interface much easier than Filmic Pro. You can try it for free, but you will be able to film only in automatic mode and automatic focus, just like native camera app. If you want to film in manual mode, you have to pay for this. I'll mention pricing shortly. All manual settings are there. Waveform, Zebra, Focus Peaking. There are four shooting modes, Auto, Pro, Dual, where you can record with wide angle lens and selfie lens at the same time. Last mode is Portrait, where you can get the beautiful shallow depth of field. You can control the digital aperture there. Filmic Pro doesn't have that. ProTake also records up to 240 frames per second. It has a beauty mode. You can film in log C or other looks. It has wireless video transmission, multicam mode in Wi-Fi, so you can film with up to four smartphones. Let's check out color space. Here you have 8-bit, 10-bit, and also HDR Dolby Vision available. It has three levels of stabilization, just like Filmic Pro. So handheld filming can be very smooth. Data lets you customize your file names and video encoding. Let's go to accessories to see gimbal compatibility. You can use Zuyan gimbals with this app. Let's talk about pricing. Out of all these apps I'm showing in today's video, this is the only one which has subscription plan. However, it's not $2.99 US a week, which comes to $156 a year, but you are looking at $19.99 for the first year, and then I think it is $21.99, at least what I remember I had to pay. It's not showing me pricing, so I cannot say 100%. So keep that in mind. Now let's move away from any apps requiring subscription. Let's mention apps, which you have to buy only one time. That's it. If you have an iPhone and if you're interested in moment lenses, then you will most likely choose Pro Camera by Moment. You can take photos and videos. The interface is not too busy, looks rather simple. Here you can film in manual mode. To get quickly going, you can choose one of their presets, cinematic video, hyperlapse, slow motion, and bulb light trails. Or you can do your own custom settings and save them for the future. You can film in flat and log profile. If you have moment lenses, you can enable them here. You can film hyperlapses with motion blur, in the settings, you can turn on stabilization, change bitrate, and control many other things. You can use DJI Osmo gimbals with this app. You don't get all the features like Filmic Pro or ProTake has, but it certainly has other strong features. The price is $6.99, and if you want those motion blur time lapses, you have to buy this feature separately for $3.99. Beastcam is another app for Apple phones, which is getting quite a lot of attention lately. When I was purchasing this app, I was quite surprised that it was only $279. You can take photos or videos. I like the layout. All manual settings are right in front of your eyes. 
It does have standard and cinematic stabilization, so you can surely film handheld. No gimbal is linked with this app. You can film in 10-bit HDR and ProRes. It offers 160 megabits per second filming if you select the beast quality level. You can create a free account where you can create and store presets. It has focus peaking, zebra, false color. It doesn't have features like time lapse, but if you need to film nice quality video for that price, it's excellent. I really like this one. Pair it with a gimbal, which has ability to change gimbal modes directly by pressing the buttons and you are all set. If you haven't purchased a gimbal yet and want to get Zoom Smooth 5, then I have to include Stuckin in this list. It is both for Apple and Android smartphones. Stuckem is made for this gimbal specifically. And here you can film in manual mode. You can enable LUT, get high level stabilization, film in 64 megabits per second. The downside is that you need a prime membership to access focus peaking, zebra pattern and all the other stuff. I'm not sure about the pricing. I couldn't access it as it was not in English language. Apple users can try out Pro Movie Recorder for free. You will get watermark on your videos though. It is just a very simple app. Basic, but it is very effective. You have all controls laid out right on the screen. It has enhanced stabilization. I find it a bit similar to B-Scan. The price is a little bit higher though. To remove the watermark, you have to purchase the app for $3.99. If you are an Apple user and you want an app which was built by filmmakers for filmmakers, where you get all professional controls you can imagine, an over-the-top app, then Mavis would be worth checking out. You will find everything including vector scopes. It is quite an extensive app. If you look at the app description, you can check everything included and the list is very long. For beginners, this is certainly way too much. However, if you're someone who is looking for professional controls, this could be it. They have extensive online manual to help you understand pretty much everything. The basic price is $5.99 and then you can buy certain tools separately or the whole big bundle for $17.99. And lastly, one more app for those who have Android devices, and that is MC Pro 24 FPS. Now I'm using Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus to show this app. This app only works on certain smartphones. You might get more or less functions. It all depends on the model you have and compatibility. I don't know what is compatible, so it is best to try to reach their support on their website for the answers. Unfortunately, you cannot try it for free. You have to buy it straight up for $22.99. You can film with multiple cameras. You can record in 10-bit on a large number of Android devices. You can record up to 500 megabits per second. There is optical and digital video image stabilization. You can record in lock. There are three focus modes and it supports different sound sources. You can do sound recording via Bluetooth microphones. For the full list of specifications to see what everything is included, you can visit their website to see that list. This app will surely give you all advanced filmmaking settings. Again, the interface is a bit cluttered, but once you get used to it, where everything is, you will be okay. Give it a thumbs up if you found this video informative and don't forget to subscribe for more. In the comment section below, let me know what other not if filming app to Filmic Pro you're interested in trying or you're currently using and I'll be sure to make in-depth tutorial on it in the future. See you in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.